my name is Jason Olkowski, Chief Customer Officer here at Creatio. Uh, joining us today is Francois Bro, Head of CRM at Vito Quinal. It's a pleasure to have you. Thank you for joining us today. Well, thank you for the invitation. Francois, can you start by sharing with us a little bit about your role uh, and the organization today? So basically my, my role at Vaticino is Vaticino uh, in Canada because Vaticino is a worldwide company, but I'm in charge of Vaticino Canada and I'm like I'm consulting, uh, it's like I'm configuring the system for tailored to our business requirement, uh, helping training our users to listen to them as well, uh, coaching our management about dashboards, information that they need. Uh, basically what I call myself like an advisor, a uh, trusted advisor or a game changer, whatever you call it. Amazing. Can you tell us what challenges you encountered when you joined the company and how Creatio has helped you to solve them? Well, Creatio was selected in uh, 2019, so about four, five years now. And when I started in 2020, uh, at that time, they rolled out the uh, CRM in, in phases, like in uh, like the first wave, the global was Canada, US, and France. So the, the, the challenge was more like a mind shift of the company to really, how can we facilitate the end users to adopt the technology? Uh, some of our end users were still using this high, tech, uh, high technology called a pen and a piece of paper. <laughs> So we want to make sure that, okay, how can we change this mindset towards the, the new things? That's where Creatio was, uh, I was able to, to change the, the screen layout to help them. So the challenge was more definitely uh, a mind shift and how to facilitate the users to adopt technology. That was my So in what ways does your company leverage Creatio to streamline your processes, given that you are a large global organization? Being international, it, it brings also the, the complexity about how do we manage this. So we came with the, this approach of a three layer approach. The first layer was the out of the box. So any features that was common to all, you know, uh, from the system itself. Uh, so that was the first layer that everybody would agree on how to use the system. The second layer was whatever was common throughout the countries is part of what we call a core model. So whenever we have a new feature that is applicable for our countries, we put this into this environment package, whatever technology you talk, and then we can deploy that to mm. all the, to all the, the countries uh, in one shot. And there are some countries that do, do have some specific needs that is not existing in the other ones. So we have this local country needs layer sort of, mm -hmm. where we can develop or customize a system in a different package in different environment just for that need. And this is how we, we've been able to approach with three layers and really kind of share the same system through all the, all the countries, despite the fact that it's different instances, like it's different license, completely different, but we kind of aggregate the data in one place. And so using the same structure, this is kind of the, the approach that we've done. Great, great. So how does the utilization of the no-code capabilities of Creatio helped you with the integration of your various other systems and tools that you have? All right. Uh, that's a clear advantage from Creatio. Um, and Canada is a good example for that. What we've done like recently, uh, a few weeks ago, uh, was to create a module that was to manage our competitors, like the com competitive information. So, in few weeks, I've been able to, to customize the system, develop a tailored to our needs, and put the, the screen layout, the business processes, the rules and stuff like that, and deploy that to our end users. And, and now they, they are using it live. And now Canada is a pilot country for this module. And we share the value add that we have. And then the other countries are looking at us and say, okay, yeah, maybe we want it as well. So uh, based on the result, the next step will be really to move this into the core model that I explained earlier and then deploy that in all the countries. So this no code, there's no need to be developer, uh, programmer, no nothing. We just use the out of the box features. And for CRM specialists, for me, this is my toolbox that I, that I can do for quick, uh, like a quick implementation of an app uh, tailored to our bas uh, your business needs. Yeah. This is great. So this is a fast time to value while you iterate further yep. from there. Yeah, very in a timely manner because sometimes when they have a need, it's right now. It's right. not yesterday or tomorrow. It's yep. like, what can we do now to make sure? And this creative approach allows us to evolve as well. So maybe the first cut that we have added, added might not be the perfect one, but since the user are using it, then new needs gets, uh, gets identified so we can come up with the broader solutions for the other countries. This is great. I think this is a key tenet of no-code delivery 
in terms of finding that MVP that works, deliver value to the business, yep. and then continue to expand from yep, there. Yeah, definitely, that's the way it goes. So as we wrap up, Francois, in your experience, what factors contribute to the successful deployment uh, across multiple regions and functions of your business? I guess the right word is cooperation. Um, the way that we've been successful to implement that, we had at the group level, which are kind of coordinating or orchestrating all the, the deployment of all the technology itself. There was another group that was more like what we call the CRM leaders or trusted advisors to get the business need from each country. Uh, we have some CRM experts that can really massage the, the system and, and make the right field and the right screen layout for the requirements. And of course, the last one is like creation support themselves with the project development to make sure that we can all get that in line and, and work in that properly. So that's say, I guess the cooperation is a key factor for all of us. It's great for me as a chief customer officer to hear that the support from Creatio has been a key factor in that success uh, as well. So thank you again for sharing your time and your insights with us, Francois. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks.